Welcome and hello my beautiful bulls, my Taurus. Brenda here from Brenda Tarot Angels with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of March the 13th to the 19th, 23. Starting off on the bottom of the deck, your all of our energy card is, you've been given the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is a card of balance. You're working towards a goal here, going after something, walking away from something that perhaps you don't ever want to go down the road after again. This could be, you know, you're feeling that you, you have to move on your own and you're letting go. You're traveling. This is almost like escapism for you. Uh, you want to reach your limit right now or you, you did reach your limit and you now have realized that you're moving on. It sits on top of your center uh, energy here, which is the Three of Swords, which is the card of pain, the card of disappointments, a card of heartbreak and betrayal, loneliness, and um, you know, and depression, separation. Maybe something happened here in the past. You are healing through this, and you've made this command decision. Now you're out of here. You're moving forward, and you're leaving something behind that brought you pain. But you will heal through it. It's taking you time to get there because you're having to get your ducks in a row, and perhaps maybe you're moving out of a relationship and you have to find a new residence to live. Uh, maybe you're making arrangements to uh, to move out of the area. Uh, maybe you're leaving a job that, uh, you know, became redundant and uh, you, you're now looking for a better job and it's taking time. Whatever the case is here, it's different for everybody. It brought disappointment, and it, it, but it made you have to go in this new direction, but you're definitely going to get there, and it's just taking you a little bit longer. You're having to deal with balance right now. You will be healing through this situation because the, the thing here is you've come to the realization that you there was no repairing this. There was no going back to it, and now you're able to go in a new direction, and you're planning that, okay? It's taking time, albeit, but you're definitely healing through this situation of unhappiness, and you're not going back there again. You're never going to go back there again. You realize that you know the moon comes out at the darkest times you know of the day and it, it comes out before the dawn and the daylight and the moon though is the brightest brightest ball illuminating ball in the sky and it has this ability to show you where you need to go it's lighting your path so follow the light my beautiful beautiful Taurus you are going in the right direction you've made a good decision to do this and you will heal through this disappointment here that you've had to deal with in the past and you're not going back there okay Coming in with your first row, you've been given a beautiful gift. And this is a card of generosity, the six of coins. Yeah, this is about negotiations, give and, back, get, give and take energy here, push-pull energy. You may have had to negotiate with something here. Somebody's giving you something, time, effort, support, or maybe even money. Maybe a new job, a donation, um, you know, assistance. Uh, it could be employment, um, you know, kindness and, and, and anything like that that's coming in towards you. Um, I do think that you're going to be receiving something, some of you, and for others, you may be wanting to reciprocate and give to someone else someone who needs your help needs your support and needs your experience uh, so I do think there's going to be a gift coming in of some sort an equal division so whether it's a legal situation or whether it's between family members or negotiations with work and deals like that um, I do think that you're going to see that it'll be a level playing field Coming in with that card, you've got the lightning card. Control your anger or you will be sorry. So unfortunately, while you're going through this back, back and forth energy, there might be a little bit of heated discussions. Um, if it is a legal issue or if it has to do with you feeling you deserve something and you're not getting it, then you may have to speak up. But don't get yourself in the heat of the moment and then have the roar of the lion and react and then regret because words are things we can't take back. So this card is giving you a caution here. Control your anger or it could come back to bite you. So if you're going through any negotiations discussions debates please keep that in mind okay bite your tongue if you have to take a breath in okay now coming in next you've got the beautiful card of getting your recognition the card of victory the card of you know um being able to move forward this is victory after huge uh you know after hard work and effort this is the success and winning i'm having the advantage to triumph over something now you've made a great achievement and you're riding high but you're also getting recognition for that so something may be coming in here in the form of public recognition or you're going to win something or you know the battle's going to be over and now you're going to be able to get the recognition and respect from those around you that have been supporting you all along so take this take this applause take 
take a bow my beautiful Taurus you, you deserve this you've worked hard for something and now you're going to get the support from others you've got the jug and the jug is lighthearted, carefree time so yes you're going to be celebrating something so maybe you're celebrating finally ne the negotiations are over and you come out ahead as a winner here and you're leaving that situation that brought on this despair and disappointment and now you can say oh it's over I'm ahead of the game now I can move forward with my life and be happy and you're going to go out and celebrate coming in in that center position we talked about this three of swords it could have been third party that stirred the cauldron that created this disappointment um, but it definitely brought some disorder and confusion into your life at the time and made you feel lack and loss but you're healing through this so know that you hold the key to your happiness here because the key in the cage you may have felt that you were trapped in a cage for a long time and now you have the key to free yourself and get out there this is about knowing that you hold the key to any possibilities in your life now and the journey that you're on stand up for your in your power stand to and take your power back uh, you're able now Taurus to go after what you want you're going to feel this wonderful feeling of freedom and I think it's leaving a bad situation here going in a new one and feeling that beautiful revel revelry of celebration now we have the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is a little message right pages bring us messages and they're the beginning steps towards something in each of the suits but this particular one is the suit of money and I do think there's good news uh, that has to do with material part of your life and a new solid beginning this could be a new job um, this could be a new course of study you're taking to level you up on your resume and bring you into that next next tax bracket level of earnings and I do think that you're hitting the book some of you uh, in the process of doing that this is also the card of negotiations like we talked about with the six of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles is negotiating back and forth with yourself as well in your head am I going to do this or am I going to do that keep in that keep in that mind be open-minded okay uh, and keep your eyes open uh, to all possibilities and to all uh, beautiful opportunities coming your way this is a card that says you know you can count on someone you can count on someone that's going to bring you in something here that's going to help level you up now you've got the mountain and the mountain could be obstacles in your way or you feel that it's going to be something very difficult to surmount and get over but you have two ways of looking at climbing a mountain you can go around it or you can go up it over it and going over it is a lot more challenging with all its pitfalls and dangers and everything and risks that go along with it but if you plan your route and you take your time and you you make you make a detailed plan you're going to get to the same destination albeit it might take a little longer but you're going to get there so the mountain is a, is an interesting card for sure and you know it's it stands for obstacles that could be in your way and challenges but you've got the ability now with the key here to solve those problems and go after what you want so don't lack the confidence don't hold yourself back step out of your way because you may have felt at one point you hit a wall but you really haven't hit a wall you've got ways of getting yourself out of this don't limit yourself because I do think you're going to have uh, if you're ha if you thought you were having difficulty with finances to do something I think you know with this page of Pentacles and also with the with this um, the six of Pentacles you're going to find that you're going to find get what you need it's going to take time because here comes the Knight of Pentacles right next to the page but the Knight of Pentacles is patience and perseverance and continuing to make your plans uh, and that is you know moving forward at a steady pace but planning your moves making a detailed plan not rushing in he's the slowest moving Knight out there and he doesn't go rushing in and then have to think oh geez I, I screwed up now I got to think of plan B oh what is plan B right so this is about you being patient and and knowing that your hard work and uh, is going to pay off at the end of the day this is about persevering to reach a goal and you'll get there because this is the yes card that definitely says you're going to get there just take your time because you're going through a situation here that has caused you to have to change your whole life uh, and your routine here and now you can go forward you're going to succeed at it because you hold the key here and you will be able to succeed at it okay now you got the mule with that and the mule is <laughs> is someone that's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change so um, you know I don't know if you have a nurse sign around you that might be like that because this is a knight of Pentacles that comes in with that card but there could be somebody around you who wants to dig their heels in and they don't want to they don't want to conform to rules and um, you know it could be anybody it could be a youth a, a family member one of your children uh, somebody that works for you uh, or even your partner uh, that might be a bit stubborn here and uh, unwilling to change their ways so 
know that we can't force the hand of anybody to do anything they're not ready to do or to be responsible and take the responsibility to do so try not to get stressed out about this um this person is being stubborn maybe there's a way that you can go around this by sitting down and negotiating with them here with this six of pentacles maybe you can sit and negotiate negotiate with them so that they can understand the situation in more clarity well, my beautiful Taurus, this is your reading for this week. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.